Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hi everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the cozy baby blanket, which is the blanket that you see here in the photo. Uh, this blanket is made up using a super bulky weight yarn and I'm using the Lion Brand, I'll see if I can get on the camera here, the Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick. It is a super bulky weight yarn as well as a 10 millimeter uh, crochet hook. If you are using the Woolies, you will need almost a complete four balls of uh, their bonus bundle. So each of these balls of yarn have 174 yards in it. Um, you're going to need four of these in two different colors. As mentioned, you'll also need your 10 millimeter crochet hook and a yarn needle and a pair of scissors for weaving in ends. The free crochet pattern can be found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and I will link it here in the video notes for you. While you're here, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, which I like to update weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. Now that we have all of our materials together, we will get started. So as we begin, I would like to just take a moment and show you the stitch that we are going to be working here in the actual uh, blanket itself. You can see these elongated single crochet stitches and these are called spike stitches. And the design of this blanket is done as sometimes referred to as an eyelash stitch simply because of the, uh, the uh, way that these stitches are positioned. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work these elongated uh, single crochet stitches, which are sometimes referred to as spike stitches. Today, I will also only be working a swatch of the blanket. Uh, if you would like to change the size of your blanket, you are going to need a multiple of six chains plus four chains. If you are following along with the pattern, you are going to begin with your color A um, and you're going to chain 58 chains. You will make your slip knot and then chain 58. Today for the swatch, I'm only going to be chaining 22. Ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-one, and twenty-two. So once again, if you are following along with the pattern, you will continue your chain until you have a total of fifty-eight chains. Next for row one, you are going to begin by single crocheting in the second chain from your hook. So you're going to have your first chain and your second chain. You will place your sing first single crochet in that second chain from your hook. And then you're going to single crochet in each stitch all the way across. At the end of your chain, you're going to chain one and turn your work. Now for rows two to four, you are going to single crochet in each stitch all the way across. So you're going to have a total of four rows of single crochet stitches. So single crochet in each stitch all the way across, chain one, turn your work, and then a single crochet again in each stitch all the way across. You'll do that until you have a total of four rows, so three more rows. When you come to the end of row four, you are going to switch to your color B. So work up until the point where you're going to switch colors, then meet me back here, and I will demonstrate how I like to change colors in the middle of a project. Okay, so now I have now worked almost four complete rows of single crochet stitches. I'm just coming up here to my last stitch in my row and I want to switch to my color B. So what I'm going to do is in the next and last stitch I'm going to insert my hook and I'm going to draw up a loop. 
instead of completing the stitch with my color A, I'm going to pick up my color B and I'm going to yarn over with my color B and complete the stitch with my color B. So now when I chain one and turn, I'm all set to go in my new color. I'll show you that one more time. And this works um, if you are, say, uh, at the end of a ball of yarn and need to add on a new one, or if you're changing color, it works anywhere uh, in your project. You're just going to insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop, you're going to drop your color A, pick up your color B, yarn over, and pull through the two loops on your hook. You're now set to go with your color B. So at the end of row four, you're going to chain one and you're going to turn. At the end of my uh, pattern, I will go back and I'll weave in all of my ends. Now we are going to begin uh, a row comprised of those spike stitches that I showed you earlier. So this is row five. With color B, you're going to begin by single crocheting in the first two stitches. A single crochet in the first stitch and a single crochet in the second stitch. We will now work our first spike stitch. You are going to be asked to single crochet in the next stitch inserting your hook one row below um, and drawing up a loop, drawing up your loop to the height of a single crochet. So when you take a look at your stitch, normally you would insert your hook uh, in the top of the stitch and you would work a single crochet just like we did a moment ago. To work your stitch one row below, you're going to take a look at your work and underneath that uh, little hole where you would normally insert your hook, you'll see that there's another space. And that's where you worked your stitch one row below. So this time, you're going to insert your hook in that space. So simply count down one row, insert your hook in that space directly beneath your stitch, yarn over, pull up your loop to the height of your single crochet, and then yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. And you can see what that did is it elongated the post of that stitch. For your next stitch, you're going to uh, single crochet in the next stitch by inserting your hook two rows below. So here's one row, count down one more. This is your second row. So you're going to insert your hook two rows below, yarn over, drop your loop to the height of your single crochet, yarn over and pull through both loops. Next, you will single crochet in the next stitch by inserting your hook three rows below. So there's one, two, one more row is three. Insert your hook, yarn over and drop your loop to the height of your single crochet. Be careful that your material doesn't bunch underneath. Yarn over and pull through. So you can see that you have these spike stitches getting uh, increasingly longer. We are now going to start our decrease. So in your next stitch, insert your hook two rows below. One, two, insert your hook, and drop a loop. Yarn over, pull through. In your next stitch, you're going to work, insert your hook one row below, and then finish your eyelash pattern with a single crochet in the next stitch. So your work should look something like this. You are now going to repeat uh, all the way across. So next, your repeat begins at the single crochet by inserting your hook one row below. We're going to start our increase again. Single crochet by inserting your hook two rows below. single crochet in the next stitch by inserting your hook three rows below and then begin your decrease. Two rows below. One row below and single crochet in the next stitch. So continue that all the way across when you come to your final stitch, you're going to simply work a single crochet in that final stitch, then chain one and turn.
this is what your work will look like. So I'm chain one, uh, chain one and I'm turning. Um, now for rows six to eight, continue working in your color B. So, and you are going to simply single crochet in each stitch, in the top of each stitch, all the way across, chain one and turn your work. So you're going to work three rows in total of single crochet stitches. At the end of your row eight, you are going to switch back to your color B. Or sorry, you're going to switch back to your color A. So go ahead and work three rows of single crochet stitches in each stitch all the way across, chain one and turn. At the end of row eight of your third row, you're going to switch back to your color A. At the end of row eight, you are going to switch to your color A, so you're going to insert your hook, and drop a loop, drop your color B, and then pick up your color A once again, yarn over, and pull through. You can then chain one, turn your work, and you are ready to begin row nine. Now for row nine, we are going to work on making a few uh, more spike stitches, except we're going to do them uh, in the opposite direction here. So what you're going to do is for row nine with your color A, you're going to single crochet in that first stitch. You are then going to single crochet in the next stitch working three rows below. So count your rows, one, two and three. So it's going to bring you just to the right, if you are right-handed, of that um, little, your little single crochet there. So insert your hook way down there, three rows below, yarn over and drop a loop to the height of your single crochet, yarn over and pull through. So you're going to start with the longest of those spike stitches. Next, you're going to single crochet in the next stitch, working two rows below. So count two rows down, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and complete your stitch. Insert your hook, uh, single crochet in the next stitch by inserting your hook one row below. And then simply single crochet in the next stitch. single crochet in the next stitch, one row below. Now we'll start our increase again. Single crochet in the next stitch, working two rows below. Single crochet in the next stitch, working three rows below. And then you're going to repeat. So each time when you work that longest stitch, you will always know if you're in the right spot if you're just directly over top of that little uh, crochet, single crochet stitch there that you worked in row five, okay? So that's how you can know if uh, your colors are lining up correctly. So now you're just going to repeat. Single crochet in the next stitch, two rows below, one row, row below, and single crochet in the next stitch. Continue that pattern all the way across. When you come to the end, you will chain one and turn your work. I've just completed my final spike stitch there of row nine. I'm going to finish by simply single crocheting in that final stitch. And then I'm going to chain one and then turn my work. Now for uh, the rest of the blanket, I'm simply going to repeat rows two to nine. So that was my three rows of single crochet stitches followed by my spike stitches and then three more rows of single crochet stitches. So what you're going to do is you're going to repeat, that was your row two through to nine and uh, you're going to continue to repeat that until your blanket from the beginning measures approximately 32 inches or the desired length. You can, can go shorter or longer if you'd like. So once your blanket has reached 32 inches or the desired length, you're going to fasten off and you're going to weave in all your ends. Meet me back here and I will show you how to do a very simple half double crochet edging. 
So once your blanket has reached uh, the length that you desire, 32 inches, you're going to work a simple half double crochet edging all the way around your blanket. So to do that, you're going to begin by taking the desired color. I use my color B for my blanket. You're just going to choose a stitch. You may choose to work in the corner stitch if you'd like. You're going to join your yarn with a slip stitch. And then you're going to work one half double crochet stitch in each stitch all the way across. When you come to your corner stitch, you will work three single crochet, uh, half double crochet stitches in each corner stitch. So half double crochet in each stitch, all the way across the top, for instance, if that's where you started. And then in each corner, you will work three half double crochet stitches. I'll just quickly work all the way across here. And it's just going to give you a nice solid edge all the way around your work. If you would like, you could add a fringe or make it a little bit more decorative. I just wanted something simple. So I'm coming to my final stitch here, it's my corner, you will have probably woven in your ends. I'm just going to work three half double crochet stitches in that one stitch and what that's going to do is it's going to bring me around to work on uh, this rough edge. Now what I'm going to do is I found it easiest just to work one half double crochet stitch in each row all the way down this rough edge. Okay, so work one half double crochet stitch in each row. What will be important is that you pay attention to how many you have because when you come to your other rough edge, you are going to want to have the same number of stitches. So half double crochet in each row all the way across. When you come back to your corner stitch there, you're going to half double th place three half double crochet stitches in that corner stitch. And that's going to bring you back around to the other end. Continue to half double crochet in each stitch all the way across. Work three in your corner and then work the same number of half double crochet stitches as you did for your rough edge along this other edge here. Once you come back around to the beginning, you're going to join with a slip stitch in that first stitch, fasten off, weave in your ends. And if you would like, you can block uh, this blanket, I found I didn't need very much blocking at all, but if you uh, feel the need, then you may do so. But that is your super cozy baby blanket. Thank you so much for joining me for this video tutorial. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and you can check me out on Facebook and Instagram uh, and across social media. Happy crocheting. Until next time, bye.